Hey folks and welcome back to Old School Customs. About a week ago I seen a video of the Tinker's Creek in Bedford, Ohio, Walton Hills, Ohio and then I have property here and I have grew up in this area and it was showing Hermit's Hollow picnic area and uh, Hemlock Creek picnic area and there's an Indian Point and at the Hermit's Hollow there is a uh, a mound, a burial mound and up on top of the hill an Egyptian type pyramid mound so I'm just passing through heading to a job and I wanted to show you the mound and I'm gonna get out and show you here for a second so like I said I grew up here I used to meet my friends here and we bake up on top of that hill right there is where that mound is where there's a pyramid like structure and it's pretty thick but when we were kids we used to well not kids I mean 18 17 ish and we used to crawl up this thing and bake up at the top of it and it turns out that this is some form of a burial mound I had no idea and I couldn't wait to drive by here so I could get a glimpse of it with my peepers and there it is so I'm standing like at this plane and that's how high it is from where I'm at I mean that's gotta be 60 feet tall looks like a lot of people come through here I never thought to uh, that this was what it supposedly is but uh, now that I'm here I don't have a whole lot of time I have to go uh, to work but since I'm passing through, I thought I would show you this. Kind of looking for arrowheads as I go. I got slippery, slippery shoes on. Alright, so I'm at the top. <coughs> it's where I parked down there. Coming down on the river side. Right on the other side of this hill would be that Indian Point. And right down there is Tinker's Creek. It's raging right now because we had a ton of rain last night. And that's a whole other thing. There's uh, not megalithic walls, but there's a wall that runs from like right down here at the river all the way back like hundreds and hundreds of yards and you, you can't see it from here but if we go on the other side you can see it and I always thought something was fishy with that like who the heck and back there there's walls like my van was parked against one and there's walls back there there's the Hermit's Hollow 
and there's walls built. So I'm, I'm up, I'm looking down. This was supposedly the mound. I gotta come back here when I have more time and do some investigating and uh, look for some arrowheads and artifacts or pottery or something. I hope I don't wipe out going down this hill. I got like skater shoes on. But, uh, maybe I'll keep filming in case I wipe out and then you could witness it with me. <clears throat> it's pretty steep. It's probably a good 45 degree angle here, maybe more. Oh, slipping. 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 Guess I get more traction in this moss than I do in the muck. Oh, look at the bug. Took a picture of the red mushroom, that was pretty cool. Looks like the Mario Brothers mushroom. Doot 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 doot. Oh shit. Oh, picking up speed, there's a mushroom. Oh, poison ivy, poison oak. Whoa. All right, folks. This is that uh, I mean, clearly some of this has been here and it's been hand hewn. You see the chisel marks, but there's some new parts of it. Go down over here, see if I could get a glimpse of that wall, and I gotta get to work. All right, way in the distance. Let me see if I can zoom in. You can see the wall. And we'll go there. Maybe after work, I'll come back this way. See it? That wall is on both sides of the river. It goes for a long ways. Can't see it from here. So in perspective, here's the mound that we were just up on the top of. We are up there. There's Indian Point up there. Directly behind me is the, the pyramid-like mound. There's the river. There's walls built on both sides going way back up in there. It just doesn't even make sense. Why would this be out in the middle of nowhere? When it built when it was built, this was just uh, like literally an outskirt of an outskirt suburb of of downtown Cleveland. Even stuff like this, this wall right here, and springs, and all right. And hey, look at this is at the base of the burial mound, and there's like not megalithic wall, but a pretty substantial wall has been buried here. I can see it from over here. 
coming around over here. Again, here is a wall that starts off at zero, and obviously this parking area has been raised up through the years. But there's walls like this throughout the park. And it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And there's areas where this is like 20, 10, 12, 15 feet tall. So I found this thing. It looks like it could have been some kind of a uh, spearhead or something. I don't know. This thing may have just been shale. But... Uh, so I'm coming up on one of the walls. This wall of the park. It's, just, it's going up and it's obviously been buried in the ground, but that's got to be 15 feet tall. For what? There was no, no infrastructure here. No infrastructure. So now I'm going on the other side of the creek. And uh, this is where the Indian Point would be. Waterfall right over here. I used to go hang out there as a kid. So right up on the top of this hill. Of course there's Osage Orange trees right here too. See the Osage Orange? And then an Indian tree. They made bows out of it. up on the top like midway up this hill is a is a shelf right there's a shelf and there's like cliffs it's the Indian point right there all right folks until we get over here again thank you for watching old school customs please hit like subscribe and have a good day